hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how to lock events or clips on vegas pro if you are not already a subscriber to this channel please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you won't miss anything let's get into the video Now we are in Vegas Pro 16 but you can use this technique in other Vegas versions including Movie Studio. So to log events in Vegas you simply need to select the event you want to log. Make sure it is highlighted and you go down to log and click on need. If you read what is on your screen, you will see that it prevents the selected event from moving along the timeline. Whenever you lock any event, you don't have that possibility of editing it, no deleting. So make sure before you lock, you first edit to your preferences. Suppose I want to lock this event or this clip, I will need to select it and then I click on this lock icon down my screen. So when an event is locked, it is highlighted blue. So if you want to unlock or if you want to lock, you can also right click on that event or on that clip, go down to switches and then you click lock so it becomes blue indicating that that event has been locked that's why i can't move it i can't delete i can't delete i can't go to the event pan crop i can't apply the effect on it directly from this position you can decide to lock all the events on your timeline at the same time you simply need to press ctrl a to select everything onto your timeline and you click on the lock icon until it is blue so when it is locked you will notice this gray color onto your lock event to unlock that you see this need to select everything as before and you uncheck the lock or you right click you go to switch and then you select lock so i will do this you see the difference it is white and when you lock it is gray suppose you want to lock a particular track for example this track track uh, i think track number one if you want to lock this track you simply need to right click on that track like this at the beginning of that track i'll right click and then i select select all after pixel click on it it's going this icon or this menu is going to appear on your screen if you choose all tracks it's going to select every track that is after that pixel select events after pixel for all tracks for selected tracks so this is the selected track so if i choose all tracks i go to ok all the entire timeline after my pixel will be highlighted so i can easily lock that event by simply clicking on the lock icon so let me undo select clips more rapidly you will need to check on the link i'll put in the description on a video i did on how to rapidly select events and apply multiple effects on them without any waste of time use the youtube time card equally to reach that tutorial for example now if i want to select the entire track for example this track i will need to select the track over here like this until it is blue right click in front of the track and select all after pixel now choose insert select affected tracks and hit ok you see that uh, this track is entirely selected till the end or you could just simply click on the first 
and go to the last maintain shift and select the last event after selecting that you don't lock to lock that particular track but doing that without also locking the audio won't synchronize that clip because if i move here you see that the audio is off the audio is off so you simply need to also select the audio track and lock it right click go to select or after pixel select tracks go to ok and click on the lock icon so whenever you lock your event you can't delay that so it's like to prevent unnecessary deletion without your knowledge because working on your timeline you can easily uh, move an event or delete an event without knowing so you're gonna meet some cases where you need to lock some events to prevent them from being moved from left or right or from being deleted so if you intend to apply effects on this particular uh, on a particular lock clip you that won't happen unless you go to your effect window until you go to video effects drop it on that timeline so then you can edit it without any problem or you can also simply go to the track effect to apply effect on the entire track that is the package i put for you today in vegas pro tutorial that is on how to lock events to prevent unnecessary deletion or unnecessary movement in your timeline thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial